Dougie and Jackie invite you to Hogmanay Live. of the year. And we're alive until one o'clock. And probably half dead most of tomorrow, but we don't care. And if you're in the warm, stay where you are, because we've got the best in Scottish music and comedy. We've got the proclaimers. We've got Phil and Ali. We've got Eddie Reader. We've got some bloke called Ricky Ross. The party, Jack. He's drummer's pretty good. I wonder who that could be. I wonder indeed. And of course, I'll even balls to drop a hat. Ms. Bird will give us a song, too. Well, they need somewhere to point the midnight gun. Yes, they do. It wouldn't be hard money after all. Unless everyone did it tough. Absolutely, we'll have reflections, resolutions, the bells of first foot, and of course the latest lottery results. How traditional. Listen, time to get started. Get your jack off. Come on, let's go. And let's warm up with a bit of a jig to the music of the Alexander Bakush Black Throats Cayley Band. Do you fancy a strip the willow, Dougie? I didn't realise it was that going to show, but certainly. Come on. Fifth. exertion but he's actually gone away to see if he can still cut it at the old day job he's dusted off his drumsticks to help out with some more great music with one of Deacon Blue's biggest hits it's Ricky Ross with twist and shout <laughs>
time and still always be late for rehearsals. Well, now to one of our finest Hogmanay traditions is the regular appearance of our next guests. Now, it just wouldn't be Hogmanay without Phil Cunningham and Ali Bain. And this year, they went out and about in a national tour, but they've made sure they kept the diaries free for our Hogmanay bash, know, didn't you? Now, how yeah. many of these things have you actually done? Uh, between the two of us, I think we've managed to notch up about 50, which is remarkable given that we're both in our early 30s. <laughs> <laughs> in a school band, I think. Tell us what you're playing as you make your way over. Okay, um, tell us what you've got for us tonight. We're going to play a couple of tunes from Cape Breton. Uh, the first one's called Stella's Trip to Kamloops. We don't know anything about Stella or about Kamloops for that matter. And then a tune um, called Memories of Father Angus MacDonnell. And we know nothing about that other than we've worked out the guy's either a priest or somebody's dad. So uh, off we go. A one, two, three. <laughs> from Ali and Phil. As ever, and there'll be a lot more from them later. They're certainly built. Okay, Jackie, quick quiz, okay? Okay, you Name... are the missing... No, different, different. We can uh, sleep. We can sleep, yeah, Sorry. different quiz. Okay, name this act, okay? okay? They both wear glasses. Okay. Everyone loves them. They've been away for ages, and they're about to do their first performance in six years. I didn't know we'd booked the two Ronnies. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they'll be pleased about that. <laughs> No, these boys are twins, they're mega stars, and they're going to play the biggest hit of all time. In that case, it has to be the Proclaimers with Letter from America. <laughs> Oh, 
seconds left just time to get your glasses charged and maybe have a think about that most crucial of all hogmanay decisions you knew your resolution no who to kiss after the bells ah well is this guy from deacon blue i was thinking <laughs> right i don't know where ricky's gone oh very nice so when you go looking for him we'll go over now to edinburgh where senior pipe major stuart sampson is piping out the old year with the highland cradle song while we wait for tam the gun to signal the start of 2001 and just before this year becomes nothing more than a memory, let's take a moment for some quiet reflection. So to you, to everyone, wherever you find yourself tonight, we wish you all health, happiness and a good new year.
Yes, a very good year, yeah. new year indeed to you and all. Well then, Miss Burke, can I have the first dance of uh, 2001 then? OK. Do you know the dashing white sergeant? Well, Bill could talk to me himself. I hope his jokes get better in 2001. Yes, and don't won't. forget, later in the programme, the winning lottery numbers are going to be oh, coming up on your screen. So oh, look at those tickets. Hang on a second. Oh. Could you look after that for me, mate? I don't disappear now. OK, fine. Dancing? Yeah. I think so. Let's go. We've got all our friends around us. We certainly have, but there's something, though, Jackie, that is, that is actually missing. You buying around? That's never going to happen. Hell, no, will freeze no, over no, before no. I am from Paisley, after all. Uh, but what we need is a first food. Ah, we need some folk round for a gab. For a chat. A chinwag, even. Some boys that maybe sit around, yes. be quite happy to sit around chewing, chewing the fat. The fat. <laughs> to see you, you're well, looking swell. When we're passing and the light was on, I thought we'd come in and see you. It's you good know. to see that you're bearing gifts. Oh, absolutely. Well, the guy sure. that set the gun off, he's, he's in whiskey, uh, Tam's Dram, so this is the one I call gun whiskey. It's just for I'll you. I'll look after that. Bless you, sir. He gets the whiskey. Uh -huh. Frankincense for you as well, Dougie. Lang me your limerick. Oh, that's it. Uh, cool. He gets the that. <laughs> There's an out-of-date black bun here as well. If and, uh, and, uh, you, just, yeah. you just keep it hard of that. Just now, but actually, in the event of any pretty ladies being at the party, Half bottle of Bacardi. Oh, no, we're talking. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of charmers, you really are. If you don't mind me saying, you don't fit the traditional description of the first foot in a, in oh, a, right, in a right. nice. What is he, you're driving it now? <laughs> no, it's all dark and handsome. No, Greg's can't be here. He's away Devin with his wife at the moment. Oh. But I think they should change the tradition. I think it should be we fat baldy men that come to your door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, bless you. Yes, yes. yes. want to be fat baldy men. You look absolutely smashing. Look at this kilt. Lovely kilt. Yeah, awesome. Do you like look the kilt? tartan is that? Oh, this, 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 this is the Vipon tartan. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you lot have had a fantastic year. Have you not? Ah, oh, it's, it's been great. Super. And uh, even better this year. I mean, it's, uh, it's down to the people that are watching it, really, to be true. But uh, we're getting things shouted at us all the time, as you can imagine. And, uh, no. yeah, aye, and it's nice things, because, you know, it's a comedy programme, yeah, after all. I tell you, I'll be right with you. Um, <laughs> but uh, two wee boys, we were filming just a wee while ago, the Hug Me Nice special, it was on earlier on, and I uh, hope you all taped it. And uh, the, two wee, <laughs> the two wee boys says, hey, you that guy off the telly? And I went, ah, that's right, I'm son. And as I walked away, he went, blobby, blobby, blobby. Listen, listen, what you have to do for us, you have to do, as a first foot, you have to do a turn. You up for that? Oh, I'd love to do a turn. I'd so, love to do a turn with you, for you. <laughs> Have you got some sheet music? No, we've got the good stuff with us. Oh, Come on. <laughs> okay, did Pat make the sheet music? Hey, no, not <laughs> this year, no. For that gag, we can leave you. Thank you very yeah, much indeed. All right. Great. Oh, good for Paul. And Mark, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thank you. And the boys will be back later.
speaker in the programme. And you never know though, Jackie, someone might be making history tonight, provided they remember to check their lottery numbers. Indeed, but we've already picked a winner by putting together Eddie Reader, one of the world's top guitarists, Martin Taylor, and the classic song, Make Him Whoopee. <laughs> Another bright, another June, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making a whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rights, the groom is nervous, he answers twice, and it's so killing. But you get faults for making a whoopee. Another year, or maybe less. What's this I hear? Well, can't you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected of making a whoopee. She sits alone. Making a whoopee. Well, wonderful, Eddie Rigo, ladies and gentlemen. And do you think that's a great treatment of a classic song? And we'll be hearing more from Eddie a bit later on. For me, this is an opportunity not to be missed. You see, I've been trying to play the guitar since I was so high, and let's just say Eric Clapton can sleep easy in his bed. But as we've got better than that tonight, Martin Taylor, don't you move. Martin Taylor, world-renowned guitarist, so millions of albums, hands insured, those hands for squillions. Oh, yes. Now, anything you think you can teach me? Well, we could take an old tune all right. that we all know, um, I got rhythm. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the melody. The bass part is... Alrighty, got that. Okay, got yep, that. Yep, yep, yep. The melody again, with the bass, you get this. Okay. Following you. Now, as we're in a jazz club type of atmosphere, which is nice, yeah. I'm going to play the, the bass like a double bass player would. So you get this kind of feel. You get... Showing off now, isn't it? <laughs> With the melody. Tapping your head, rubbing your stomach at the same time. Not, not always easy. But we have to put some chords in the middle. 
Okay. So we have to have these chords as well. So we have to do this. Let me get this right. Okay. The bass. It's moving now. It's grooving. Melody. I shot. Sing the news. Imagine her, Heather and Jackie singing together. Heather, Jackie, Fran, Anna. Works for me. Anyway, our next turn is an absolute showstopper too. Many of you will have seen Dean Park perform in the clubs and theatres all over Scotland. But what most of you won't know is that when he was at school in the 60s, Dean started out singing with his wee pal Andy's Scottish dance band. Later, his pal Andy moved to London where he had enormous success. Turns out that wee Andy is none other than Andrew Lloyd Webber, if you please. You believe in this? So here now to sing those songs the way they were originally written is Dean Park with We Andy Webber's Scottish Medley! Okay, boys, two, three, four.
Robbie Williams in Scotland just now. Our very own rock DJ Dean Park with an authentic piece of Scottish musical history. Hi, I'm Mel Gibsons from Muckle Floggart. Well, our next act are definitely part of Scotland's musical, a rich musical heritage. They had their first hit almost 14 years ago. I was about 10. But we haven't heard much of them in the last six years, and it's not because we haven't been asking. Craig, Charlie, what have you been up to? I've been uh, writing songs very slowly uh -huh. and watching Hibs win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us one of the songs then.
good to have them back. I can't wait to get to you all. Absolutely. You know, Craig was telling me earlier, one of their tours in America, they were being interviewed by a DJ in American radio, and the first thing he said to them was, and uh, where did you two meet? <laughs> no. I was that DJ, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> now it's time for the, a very traditional thing we always do in Scotland oh, at this time years of the year. And years and years. We always do it, very traditional. Is that's, of course, to read out the lottery results. So if you've got your cards handy, here they are, the winning uh, numbers of the winning years indeed uh, this year, or for this, whatever it is. Anyway, it's 1909, 1920, 1931, 1982, 1992, and the bonus, 1911. Oh, the voice of the ball, ladies and gentlemen! Absolutely, it's good stuff. Anyway, what's up next? Well, Ricky Ross is doing another track, and this time it's got nothing to do with you or Deacon Blue, I'm afraid. What are you going to sing for us now, Ricky? Uh, Jackie, this is a uh, Paul McCartney song called Every Night. <clears throat> song from Eddie Reader, but before we do, I'm mean, I mean, quite question in rehearsal over the last couple of days. I know you. People have been I mentioning know. there's a slight similarity between you and Eddie Reader. Think so? <laughs> think so? I think so. Everyone else has been saying it. Clearly they don't, but we'll just carry <laughs> on with the story. Actually, anyway, no, I, no, I tell you, I have been stopped in the street, and it's really nice if someone stopped you and said, Oh, it's you. I really like you. I think you're great. You're Eddie Reader. Thanks very much. Well, actually, that happened to me recently. In fact, I was walking down Sucky Hall Street in Glasgow, and someone came to me and said, "Oh, you, you, you're that Tom Cruise, aren't you?" <laughs> actually, that didn't happen at all. It I was after really, Montfort, was, wasn't I, it? I, yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, so, I'm sad. But anyway, we're going to hear a song now from Eddie Reader, and she's going to give us a sneak preview of a song from her new album. But I'll let her introduce it. Eddie. Hello. 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 Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year. 
I hope, I hope you get blessed and, and lovely things happen for the rest of the year. I'm going to sing you a song called The Girl Who Fell In Love With The Moon. And it's all about me. I want to chee, to chee, chee. Thank you very much, Eddie Reader. Thank you. Happy New Year, Eddie. I'm going to make my way over to the relative safety of my accordion because I'm fed up holding my belly in. Get underneath this crane. Ali and I are going to play a set of tunes, um, starting with a wee tribute to a man that we sadly lost just before Christmas, Sir Jimmy Shand. And uh, we're going to try to... Um... <laughs> Jimmy, was a, he was a tremendous ambassador to... Uh, Twins ambassador for Scotland and uh, did a great amount for Scottish music. So we're going to try and play the Bluebell Polka and uh, we won't do it as well as he did it, but we'll give it our best shot. All right, lads. One, two, three. <laughs>
and the Alistair McCoosh Black Rose Cayley Band. Now, amidst all the hustle and bustle of the festivities, there must have been a moment when you thought, wouldn't it be nice to escape it all to head for a deserted island with only a few TV cameras for company? Yes, as you know, this year a few intrepid souls did just that. They headed for Taranzay in the Outer Hebrides and became our castaways. Now, for me, one of the stars of the programme was Trish Prater from Glasgow. Do you remember Trish? Yeah. Yes. Now she's on the island with her son Michael and daughter Jodine and quickly became one of the viewers' favourites with her no-nonsense, straight-talking approach to life. Well, with the technology nowadays, nothing's impossible, so let's cross now to Terence and say a Happy New Year, if she can hear me, to Trish and Michael. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Jackie! I see the party's in full swing! Trish, you're packing up... to follow! You're packing up just now to leave. If you could sum it all up, how would you describe your year? Happy New Year. How would you describe it? It's fantastic. It's great. And we can see... That's the last year. We can see Michael and we can see Jodine there. Now, New Year is traditionally a time for the family. You have a monitor. Can you see yes. us? Have a good look at the monitor. Have a little look. Can you see us? Have a good look. Now, follow me. Can you see any familiar faces? Give her a wave. Because we have got your mother, Joan, and your daughter, Joanne. What would you like to say to your daughter? Happy New Year, Patricia, Jordan and Michael. I love you very much and I look forward to you coming Happy home. You. Love you too, girl. And who is this? What would you like to say to your mum? Happy New Year, Mum, Michael, Jordan, love you loads. <laughs> Miss you. Uh, Trish, if you could hear me, what's, soon tomorrow. what's all this about you bringing home a husband? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's about it. Oh, great. Happy New Year to you all. And, uh, and you'll be seeing her very on. Happy New Year. <laughs> you'll, be see you'll be seeing her very, very soon. Oh. That's Leave her behind. See you tomorrow or the next I day. I want to tell you, Trish. Bye. I want to tell you. I'll tell you. I'm filling up. Oops. I can't handle that at all. I'll tell you. That Jackie Butter will be looking for a Hogmanay party in their house because she's some lassie, really. Now, the boys from uh, Chewing the Fat were here earlier on and they promised they would give us a wee tune. Well, they're uh, fantastic. They're, they're, they're going to, they said they were going to give us a tune. They are going to give us a tune. So, with a star studied lineup of backing singers, well, our band anyway, please welcome Ford, Mark, and Paul singing the Petula Clark classic, Downtown! <laughs>
Here that can't sing. No, it's true in the fat boys, they're funny and they can sing. In fact, they're funny when they sing. And the fact they've almost got as many strings to their bows as a certain lead singer, songwriter, musician, and composer of my acquaintance. You may well ask, when does Ricky Ross sleep? Well, as his wife's just had another baby, the answer is, as I know only too well, oh, it's not very often. Enough, enough, the pain of being a new man. But on the plus side, that's probably how you guys found the time to put together a new Deacon Blue album. Well, tonight we've persuaded Ricky to give us a sneak preview. Here he is with the title track, Homesick. That's me and Daddy out of Luna and Bay. Still looking down. Heading out Saturday, still see the buses line up to take the dancing home. It's me on the stairs, suitcase and hat, a kid and all, but no, no one day plan to leave all that behind. See what the big smoke's saying These are just some photographs talking Make it look easy To imagine just walking Back into someone Me, how 
That's a homesick title track of the new Deacon Blue album, available at all good record stores. Enough. Priced it. This is the BBC. Don't do that. Of course. Uh, now, Jackie, though, but homesick. Do you ever go homesick when you leave Scotland? Oh, I do. I, I, I miss scenery, mm -hmm. the men in kilts, mm -hmm. the culture, uh -huh. the men in kilts, uh -huh. the nightlife, the, uh -huh. men, the men in, in kilts. kilts. Yeah. Yeah. Begin to see a bit of a pattern here, Jackie. Yeah, and I think I can see a whole load of men in kilts looking just the business and sounding even better. Please welcome back the Scottish power of pipes and drums. Yo! <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely. And those men in kilts will be back to help us play out. Don't Ste go far, guys. Steady, at the end of the show. Now, here's a song that was first recorded over 50 years ago, but it's still requested today. Here to give us her bang up to date version, accompanied by Martin Taylor, is Eddie Reader with Nevertheless.
beautiful, half a century old and still as fresh as ever. Is that you or the song we're talking about? That's not funny, Ms. Bird. I'm going to be asking for Elaine Kelly next year. Funny, so am I. <laughs> That's if they have us back. Oh, I don't Which know. Which after that guy, perhaps well, not. No, possibly not. But mm -hmm. the only reason I might not be back next year is if I have won tonight, game two of the lottery. Now, we have the numbers. There are two numbers, and here they are. 16, 20 and 24, 38. And if you're a winner, remember who told you. I'll just give you them again. 16, 20 and 24, 38. And if you're a, member, if you're a winner, indeed, remember who told you second. <laughs> 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 Have you noticed how the band are over in Trainers? Yes, yeah. Because they run that stage there, and now they're over in that stage. As if by magic. Right. Ah, well, something I do know that's not a game of chance is that 2001 is going to belong to the Proclaimers. What do you think? Aren't they great? Yeah. They are back. They are bigger than ever. And they're with us now. Here they are with theirs a touch. Okay, Dougie, it had to come. What is your New Year resolution? Do you know, Jackie, I, I can't actually decide yet. What's yours? I have a champagne cocktail, thank you very much. <laughs> Thought he'd never ask. Champagne, champagne cocktail, indeed. This is a dry studio, of course, as you can see. I uh, sure, but will you, will you settle for a wee jigger in the flare? Oh, all right then. In fact, it's time for us all to take to the floor again with the Alistair McCush and the Black Rose Cayley Band and you at home get those neighbours on their feet. This time, join us in a gay gardens. <laughs> <laughs>
you can't beat a burst of Scottish aerobics, can you? Well, a good tune comes pretty close to beating it, and this one is called The Ruby, and was composed by our very, very own Phil Cunningham, and tonight is played by just about everyone here, including the Pipers. So, ladies and gentlemen, our musicians. Flown by, but I'm afraid it's time for us to go. Yes, we've had a fantastic start to the new year, and we hope you've enjoyed our company. We've certainly enjoyed yours. We'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone in the studio. Yes, thank you very much. And of course, all of you for sharing this special time with us. So we'll leave you now in the time honoured fashion with Old Lang Syne. Good night, and have a good new year. A happy new year, everybody. Happy new year.
Well, from everyone here at BBC Scotland, have yourselves a very happy new year. BBC Scotland honours the man with magic in his fingers. Dan by Jimmy Shine. I always play the simple way. Nothing too fancy. A reluctant hero, an unlikely star. Jimmy Shine's records were among the top sellers in the world. I mean, they were up there with people at Bing Crosby. Top of the pops, a Scottish dance band leader, top of the pops. It was almost like welcoming the Beatles. Sir Jimmy Shand, a tribute, Thursday at 10.35, BBC One Scotland. A New Year invitation to Firkin for a beauty contest. Carry on, girls, here on BBC One Scotland in a few minutes. A look at the weather first on BBC One Scotland with Helen Young. Hello, welcome to Weatherview. Well, as we've gone into the new year, there's a distinct change to the weather. We're not going to be seeing too many more scenes like this. Instead, we're going to need our umbrellas for the first part of the new year. The air is now far milder. That milder air started working its way in during New Year's Eve, and for New Year's Day, it's going to be right across the whole of the United Kingdom. The winds from a southerly direction then allowing temperatures to creep back up to where they should be for the time of year. Let me give you an example. On Saturday, out in the far southwest in Ireland and the West Country, temperatures were around 2 to 3 degrees. 
degrees, but by Sunday they were up to 9 to 10. And that warmer air is going to continue pushing its way northeastwards during the next 24 hours. It is going to lead to some problems though. I think we will find that there will be a thaw of the snow and the ice that's been lying around across the United Kingdom for quite a while. If you'd like more details, try CFAX page 400 or the Environment Agency's floodline number. So those winds were quite strong during the night then on New Year's Eve, but they will die down during the day on New Year's Day, although still from a southerly direction as you can see. So certainly feeling far milder. Even by the end of tonight, we're going to find temperatures far higher than we've been used to, around 3 to 11 degrees. Into Monday, it is going to be a misty and cloudy start to the day, I think. We will find with that warm air sitting over the cold ground that it will continue to give mist across quite a few areas during the day and the odd spot of light rain or drizzle. In the southwest, I think here it will brighten up, but there will be showers as well, and some of those could be heavy and thundery. One thing you will notice for sure is the temperatures, though. Temperatures no uh, higher than about 4 to 10 degrees. That's significantly higher than we've seen recently. Now, for the rest of the week, it's going to stay on the mild side, but we will find rain, I think, more or less always in the south, particularly on Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. That rain gradually moving its way northwards. For the far north, well, here it'll be a mixture of sunshine and showers. Into the rest of Europe, we've seen some very wet weather during New Year's Eve in Corsica, 82 millimetres in 30 hours there, and also in Cyprus, and both of these areas of rain were associated with areas of low pressure, as you can see. This one here really didn't move too much through New Year's Eve at all, just spiralling around that area of low pressure, but gradually it is going to move its way eastwards as we head into the new year, and I think that wet, unsettled weather will eventually move its way gradually across Greece and into the eastern Mediterranean by Tuesday. Day. Now at the same time we're going to find it getting milder not just across us but across many central and eastern areas of Europe as well so by the time we get through to the end of the week the cold air will be sitting up in the very far north. So for Scandinavia I think temperatures still below freezing in many places on New Year's Day but milder out to the west for Bergen. Across into eastern Europe here again temperatures below freezing but not quite so cold as you head out towards the Black Sea. Into the eastern Mediterranean, we've already seen it's going to be very unsettled, plenty of heavy showers to come here for New Year's Day. And then out to the west, across Spain and Portugal and into France, there will be some wet weather as well. That's it from me. Happy New Year.